Hey, my royalties. It's your girl, Naomi. It's your boy, Zodaya. It's your girl, Beta. And it's my baby girl, Krista. <laughs> and we back with another. <laughs> And I say that because every video that I drop, every video my kids drop, it's gonna pop. Okay, so click that like button, that subscribe button, cause we popping and we ain't stopping till we reach the top. Y'all heard me? Hey, y'all heard us? So y'all, today on the menu for tonight's dinner, we cooking shrimp and crawfish etouffee. Y'all seen me cut up the bell peppers and onions. I showed y'all the seasonings that we're going to be using to cook this meal. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it and start cooking, okay? All right, y'all. So first you want to go ahead and saute your bell peppers, onions, and your, uh, yeah, your green bell peppers, orange bell peppers, and onions. And then, yeah, let that saute on down. And let me get some butter and put that up in there too with it. All right, child, so I added in the uh, the butter, as y'all can see. it's Everything is sauteing on down. So we're gonna let that butter melt up in there for about another minute or so, about another two, three minutes. Let everything saute down. And then I'm gonna show y'all the next step. All right, child, so next you wanna add some minced garlic once that uh, is finished sauteing. And you go it all together okay y'all i'm stirring it all together now this is my first time cooking it like this i've seen this recipe on facebook and i say i want to try it like this to see you know uh does it taste better is it different i've always cooked shrimp etouffee but i ain't never had it with the crawfish tail up in it so we're gonna see what that be like today y'all so next you want to go ahead and add your shrimp I already uh peeled it and cleaned it and all that. So we just gonna hit uh add that up in there. Alright, child. Now you wanna uh now you wanna add your seasonings to it. Creole seasoning, garlic powder. We got Old Bay seasoning. You want to add some black pepper to it. Ooh, I feel myself wanting to sneeze, y'all. And then we adding in some parsley flakes too. And we're gonna stir it all together. And see what that be like. All right, y'all. We're gonna let that shrimp cook on down uh, with the minced garlic, the seasonings, and the bell peppers. Y'all, I know this is gonna be as flavorful and good as ever. So I'll be back to y'all. Uh oh, it's fogging up on y'all. I'm sorry. There we go. Didn't mean for it to do that. Okay, y'all see it's cooking. So once the shrimp finished cooking, because it don't take that long, I'm gonna be right back with y'all so we can uh, put in the next uh, ingredient. All right, y'all, now we're gonna add in our crawfish tails. I got one bag of crawfish tails that I'm adding to that. And all that shrimp was one bag of shrimp too, y'all. But you can get however many bags you need for your uh for your family size. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. Y'all see that crawfish right there? Mm-hmm. There go that crawfish to you. All right, y'all. So next you wanna add in the tomatoes. I ain't never had my uh, crawfish and shrimp etouffee with the tomatoes. Comment down below if y'all ever tried it like this. Let me know, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we're going to stir this up in here. Make sure we get all that up in there real good. I got the fire on low. 
you want to turn it on low you don't want it to cook too fast while you in um adding these ingredients next we're going to add cream of shrimp soup and we're going to add cream of mushroom soup y'all i like these kind of cans y'all you can um you know it already got the thing it make it easier to open and stuff i know it don't look right right now but once it all cooked down trust me it's gonna look right and i know it's gonna be good because it's smelling good too y'all and when you season it i did not use a measuring cup but season it until your ancestors tell you to stop and remember if you ain't sneezing it ain't seasoned enough or you don't feel like you about to sneeze then it ain't seasoned enough <laughs> Okay, y'all, we're going to stir that in there together. How y'all think it's looking so far? We're going to see how it looks once it's all cooked down. Oh, yeah, we got to cook the rice, too, y'all. Mm-hmm, I bet this is going to be good, too. And boom, let that add to faith. That's pretty much it, y'all. This is quick and easy, huh? Well, not so quick because you got to cut up everything. But if you cut up all your stuff ahead of time and you clean your shrimp at like the night before, you know, then shoot, it will be quick because all you got to do is just cook your food and put it on. So we're going to let this cook on low because we got to let that cream of shrimp and cream of mushroom cook in there real good uh, while the rice is cooking, y'all. So I'm going to put a top on this real quick. And let that cook on low. All right, y'all. So for my rice, I did four cups of water, two cups of rice. I'm going to put a cap full of, um, of olive oil. Or you could do a tablespoon of olive oil. That's about the same. And then you do, then you put you some butter up in there. Baby, the way butter costs, we need, we need to use every bit of it that's in this container. So... I know y'all do the same thing. <laughs> we gotta use every scrape. This is how I cook my rice. Um, I like it like this because it be butter, buttery and flavorful. Okay, that's like a tablespoon. And then, yeah, we just let that rice cook on down, y'all. And once it cook on down, it'll be ready to add with the, uh, with the shrimp and crawfish etouffee. Let me show y'all how it's looking over there. Excuse the kids, y'all. They in the uh, living room playing with their toys. So that's why y'all hit them. So, yeah, as y'all see, it's coming along pretty good. It smells so good, y'all. I can't wait to try it. That rice needs to hurry up. <laughs> I should have put the rice on first. That way it would have been already done. But if you cooking this after you... uh. Cut up your bell peppers and clean your shrimp. Put your rice on first. I recommend that. That way when this finished cooking and you know getting everything into it, you can be ready to eat it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That smells good too, y'all. Yes. So yeah, I recommend y'all cooking the rice first if y'all ready to eat, you know, once it's done. Don't be like me and cook your rice last. <laughs> Hey y'all, y'all want to get these kind of rolls to eat with y'all etouffee. It's, uh, I got these from Walmart, y'all. These are really good. And then it says you put it in the oven, place it on middle rack for about 25 to 35 minutes or until it's brown. And yes, it's going to be real good to serve two to four rolls. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, this is if you're preparing it from frozen, but if it's stalled out, it only takes 15 to 20 minutes, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And when it's done, we're going to be ready to fix place and eat. So, yes. Make sure y'all try these rolls. They are so good, y'all. I love them. All right, y'all. The food is done. So, we ready to eat. Plates have been made. I'm drinking this kind. This is new, y'all. So, this is going to be my first time trying it. The rolls is done. That's how it looks. And look at the food, y'all. Mm-hmm. Let me spin that around. Y'all see all these ingredients? Get into it, baby. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and try it because I'm hungry. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and stir it all in there. Give it a try. If you want to be healthy on the healthiest side, you could do brown rice. Um, If you want to be real, real healthy, you know. I did jasmine rice. 
because I love jasmine rice. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Hold on. Put me some shrimp in there with the crawfish. Mmm. 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 Y'all, this is good. I cooked this to perfection, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all. So if you decide to try this meal, come in and let me know, y'all. I definitely recommend y'all 10 out of 10. I'm going to cook this again, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, this was real good. This is better than the base pack that I be buying. So I'm definitely going to be, I'm going to definitely do my F2 day like this from now on. This was good as ever. Mm. Let's try it with this roll. Mm. Because hey, if it's one thing I know how to do, it's throw down in the kitchen, baby. <laughs> book Chef Naomi to cook for y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Don't book me. I ain't no, I ain't no certified chef. Mm -hmm. I ate it on my Great job. Y'all heard that, Josiah said he ate all his food. It was so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, y'all. Let me finish chowing down on this food. <laughs> and I'll be back to y'all in a minute because I don't want to make y'all hungry. Oh, I forgot to give y'all some. Here, let me give y'all some. Yeah, there y'all go. And get y'all a roll. Boom. Okay, be back to y'all. <laughs> y'all, I ate all that food, baby. I was not playing. I ain't ate all day either. So, yes, you know I had to finish all that. <laughs> y'all, that food was so good. My family went in for seconds, baby. So, if you decide to cook this meal, just know it's all going to be gone. Because you and your family going to enjoy Y'all going to go in there for a second place. Because I know my family did. And once I get hungry again, I'm going in for a second place too. So, yes, y'all. Um, I want to give a special shout out to God's Treasure. They are all, she is a new subscriber, so I appreciate you for subscribing and supporting. And she said she's going to binge watch my videos, so I definitely appreciate that because it helps my watch hours. I appreciate everybody who's subscribing, supporting, binge watching my videos, who watches it from the beginning to the end. Thank y'all because... <laughs> I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I'm forever grateful for y'all for supporting me and my kids. It definitely helps my watch hours increase. And yeah, we need that so we can get monetized so that we can start doing giveaways, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much it for this cooking vlog. If y'all enjoyed this vlog, hit that like button, y'all. Uh, share it on your platforms. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. You know, tell your friends, family, tell everybody to come subscribe to my channel to watch these videos so they can get, you know, a cooking tutorial of a new way of how to do their etouffee and everything. But yeah, um, I appreciate y'all for always tuning in and watching. If you are a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button, turn your bell on so y'all can get notified every time I drop a video and comment down below so I can give y'all a shout out, you know, cause I like to give my new subscribers a shout out, you know? So yes, as always, thank y'all. I just can't say it enough. <laughs> but yes, I hope that y'all have a blessed night, a blessed day, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all. Peace. Peace out.